So it's almost time, 7 p.m. in Tashkent. So I think we will be starting. Right. Okay, good evening, everyone. One more time. We are really happy to see you here. Welcome back to the Digital Storytelling for Social Change Workshop, those who are new to our workshop. And we welcome back we welcome back those who participated in our introduction part. I hope that you we caught your interest and you will be with us throughout the coming months. So let's get starting. As we already posted an announcement, our today's topic is the true colors of the rainbow. So basically that's the first pick of our first topic. As I explained last time, we will be working with different topics throughout our project. So we will touch different topics related to social problems, to raise social awareness of our students and how to make motivating and engaging videos um, so that our students will be interested and engaged in our English classes. So today, starting from today, in coming eight workshops, we will learn practical tools and um, ways and skills on how to develop a digital story within this topic. So our first topic is true colors of the rainbow. So before I start on the topic, uh, I would like to explain you why we have chosen this topic. Well, nowadays, um, young girls' issues are usually um, very important in our society. Sometimes they don't have voice to speak for themselves. And as a teachers, we have to address some of the problems that our female young learners are facing in the classroom and outside of classroom. That's why we, uh, we have decided to address this topic in the first place. Can everyone hear me well? Well, if you have questions throughout the session, please write in the comments or chat box. At the end of the session, I'll try to answer to your questions. So let's get starting. This is the very first workshop of True Colors of the Rainbow topic. And here we start. So looking at this posture, can you please share some of your ideas? What are the issues facing young girls throughout the world? So let's first see the big picture. We all see the news, we all read about this. And do you know, are you aware of some of the issues that young girls can face in different societies? You can unmute your microphones and you are welcome to say your ideas now, or you can write it in the chat box. Can you give some examples of the ideas that touch you, that catch your interest, or you have been thinking of, um, you know, saying something about these ideas? Do you have something like this? Okay, so. Okay, which participant would like to share their ideas here? Uh, Zivanasapa, can we hear from you if you have something to share? Well, or Dildora or Nikora, do you, do you have anything to uh, Actually, hear? I am thinking right now okay. <laughs> what to say. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, uh, from the first uh, comment, uh, uh, which is just uh, the girl is handing and uh, keeping in, in her hand mm -hmm. uh, to love their body without shame. I just, uh, the first uh, thing which came to my mind, it was um, to, just to love their body if uh, whether they have, maybe they're overweight uh, from the uh, overweight, uh, how to say, uh, weight weighs more than it's yeah, normal. Yeah, overweight, Like right. this, yes, overweight, yes. Okay. Uh-huh, this one. Okay, all right, okay. Thank you, thank and, you for sharing your thoughts. Uh-huh. Well, anyone else? Um, for second one, for second one, I can tell that uh, harassing, 
uh, one we when we under evaluate yes learners uh, okay. abilities just uh, as in our culture uh, most people do not pay attention to the education of girls mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, they do not uh, take into consideration their aims and how to say uh look uh inside uh, for the future they do not uh, take into account and give no focus on their education Sometimes that's right just girls just um how to say uh fight for themselves not fight but um i i can't find the pro um they, well, they, they have to gain alone. this yes it's not yes, given yes, to them yes. freely yeah freely and uh, uh, they do all, all everything for themselves i That's just right. understood this okay thank you thank you so if uh, there are no more opinions to share well be aware that we have our facebook page and i made a post there you can come to facebook page anytime and leave your opinions leave your ideas or comments there i will try my best to answer on time so let's take a look at some of the issues that are um prominent in the world so key issues facing young girls around the world are first of all access to education so not everyone has access to quality education and especially young girls suffer in this field and also young girls after uh, finishing their school studies, they have problems with employment opportunities to get a good job. Also reproductive Hello? health and rights can be one of the problems they are facing, gender mm -hmm. issues or child marriages in the case of some countries. Looking at these key issues, what do you think? What issues do we have in our own community? Let's just now from the big picture come to the small part of this picture. So Uzbekistan or Tajikistan in your case, or just your local neighborhood. It can be your local city or just among the people that you personally know. What issue facing young girls touches you the most? It can be a very small aspect of one issue actually. So is there anything that you would like to say something about hello hello can you hear me yeah sure ah uh, sorry i've just recently typed it but i think you can't uh, because of uh, sharing your screen oh uh, probably uh, okay so, yeah uh, my uh, i think that in our country especially the girls haven't tried in some regions for example to um continue their education maybe uh, they maybe after finishing their school they won't be able to go to continue in higher education let's say right and even even their wills um some parents they go um uh, let's say they don't take into consideration that their daughters let's say will or they uh just against their will they push them up and let's say uh push them and uh, get make them get married let's say mm -hmm. in their younger ages so that's why um some girls have to get married for example and um uh, without any education with and uh, without any uh let's say enlarging their world to you without not knowing anything new for themselves they get married and uh, even without being um, prepa prepared uh, for such marriage. kind of life. Yeah. Yes, the marriage situation. Or in some situations, for example, uh, in some families, let's take into consideration that uh, some uh, daughters or let's wife, let's take wife or daughter-in-laws, for example, uh, their ideas even didn't, uh, they cannot be accepted because they can say that, um, you, you are a woman, you must uh, keep silent, for example. Yeah, we, can we have heard kind of all, right? Yeah, I can mention like this, for example, uh, examples. Okay, well, thank you, thank you. Insightful. Okay, thank you. So what we are going to do today is we are going to just gain some ideas about these issues, become aware of these issues, and then think back, reflect, find some small aspects of these issues that are touching our own community. 
that are bothering us as mothers, as teachers, as a woman, or just as a citizen of Uzbekistan. So, and our task here is to come up with a beautiful story that motivates young girls to challenge the um, expectations set for them, to cross their borders to access quality education, just to motivate them to be themselves. So in the first place, the most important thing uh, we have to do when creating a digital story is to come up with an interesting idea because idea is the central thing in digital story storytelling. Actually, everything is built around the idea. So idea should be, Idea should be the central thing in this um, digital story. So, okay, we are having some connection problems, probably. Everything is fine now. So, for brainstorming ideas for your digital stories, you can address many sources. One of the traditional ways is to take paper and a pen, then brainstorm all the ideas you have, that the ideas that cross your mind. Or you can cluster ideas, but there is one modern and innovative way of brainstorming. That's, that's actually mind mapping. Probably you have heard about this technique, right? Mind mapping. So when you are out of ideas or when you want to really put all these ideas out of your mind, Mind mapping is actually a great technique that can be used uh, other than using it for generating ideas to, for your digital stories. You can use it in the classroom for writing or even presenting speeches. So in order to organize our ideas, in order to get, in order to sort out which ideas are important, which ideas are in the second place, which ideas assist our main idea, we can use this technique. And this technique is called here, mind mapping. I recommend you to go onto this website. It's called mindmaster.com. When you visit this website, it will ask you to register. When you create an account, you can create an account with Gmail or any existing account that you have, or you can just type your email address and create account. Once you have an account there, you have to choose uh, your occupation. Uh, you can be a student, a teacher in our case, or there are many options available. So you, when you choose, when you identify yourself as a teacher, you will be given many options to, um, to mind map your ideas using different colors, different techniques, and different graphs. You can um, ideally organize your ideas and see which ideas connect with which ideas and which ideas are important, which ideas are not that important. And after brainstorming, after gaining your ideas, now you have this big message to tell. So before we continue with the slideshow, I would like to stop sharing the screen. And okay, thank you for your thoughts here in the chat part. I would like you to to write down the ideas that you have in your mind right now. So what, what is the issue that is touching you? What is the issue that you would like to say something about? Can you please share in no more than four words? So is it quality education for young girls or is it, you know, uh, no child marriages or something like this? So some issue that's touching you that that you want to work on that and make a beautiful story out of it, can you please type it in no more than four words? Okay, you are asking me to type the website for the mind mapping. Sure, I will just send you the website. You can go there and anytime you can create mind maps using this website. Okay. Here is everyone the website. So once you open this website, let's do it together now. Let's just gather our ideas if nothing is coming to your mind. Once you open this website, there pops up a window saying start. Yes, can you see this start button? I hope that everyone is on the same page here, right? Are you going to the mind mapping website now? 
Okay, equal education is important. We have idea number one. Okay, very good. Okay, so what do you think about this idea? Are the words catchy? Is the idea, um, let's say, engaging? Can it attract opinions? And can it gather people's attention? And can it create empathy? As you know, the main purpose of digital stories are to create empathy, right? To make others follow your thoughts, to make others feel in your shoes, right? So equal education is important. That's a really good topic. Okay, if you are having difficult time coming up with ideas, you can go to mind, uh, mindmeister.com and click on the start button. And then you start, you can use some of the ready-made templates or you can create a new template. Then you can actually write down the ideas that you have in your mind. After all, you will have this big picture of what you think about a certain idea. Once you have identified your main ideas, now try to come up with a title that's, uh, that conveys your main message and that usually has no more than four words, right? Just like uh, Nigora Buranova has, equal education is important. So once we have our ideas, unfortunately, we cannot do all of it here. So once you have your ideas, cleared out from your brain and put onto paper or on mind map software. Now you know what is your main messages, yes? So once you have your main message, you are ready for the next step. But before moving on to next step, I would like to watch with you a simple digital story. It's exactly about uh, issues facing the young girls. It's a motivational story. So in order to in order to have a glimpse of what we are going to create, just let's take a look at this story. Okay.
Okay, that was an example digital story for young girls, for encouraging young girls to find a place in the world. Okay, as you can see, there are many effects used in this digital story. It has an effective narration. So narration is usually the main thing that makes up your story. Of course, the media you use like pictures, videos, and music sounds, they will drive in your audience. But still, narration is the central thing in your digital story. To have a fluent, beautiful, organized narration, you have to, first of all, identify your main ideas, put them into places, and then come up with the order that you prefer. There are no rules in writing and narration, but the main thing is to identify your biggest idea. Every digital story has a message to say. So there is one message. So in no more than three words, can you please in the chat write down what is the central idea for the story that we have just watched? What can be the central idea? So you can type it in, in the chat, or if you have something to say about that story, have some questions, you can unmute your microphones and you're welcome to share your thoughts. It's very important to identify central ideas so that you will, you will build your story around that. So we have some answers like believe in yourself, have courage, great. Okay, we are unique. Well, from my one, that's, that's also a good one. Never give up, make a step. Sure, actually that, that, that this is a very motivational message, right? So the things you are saying about no one is perfect, right? Except your imperfectness, right? Okay, great. So every digital story, as you can see it, has one central message. And this central message is the most important thing in your story. Everything you use in your digital story, the media, the narration, music, sound effects, everything else builds around this. So once you use this mind mapping software that I shared the link with in the central part, please write down this idea that you have, that message that you would like to tell the world or tell your audience. In your case, it's mostly your class, your students, right? So once you have this message typed in the center of the mind mapping software, you can write down connecting ideas. So here, well, okay, let's, let's do mind mapping together so that you will have a vivid idea of what we are talking about. So here I'm going to enter my account on MindMaster. So that's digital storytelling account. Just a second. Okay, they ask you to agree on the terms and conditions. After that, well, we're here. So as you can see here, uh, you can choose one of the options. It can be for uh, startups, it can be for small business, huge companies, it can be for personal reasons or for education. In our cases, it's better to choose education because our main aim here is to create digital stories as a tool to help our students express themselves. Yeah, so here. So here in the central part, we can write the idea. I will just use the main idea for the digital story we have just watched. So let's take like, accept yourself. Let's imagine that this is the message you would like to tell young girls, accept yourself. We see our students become self-aware or self-conscious about some things that they have, some physical attributes they have, or based on the families where they come from, they can feel themselves discouraged to do certain things. So if we want to make a story based on the idea, accept yourself. So 
you can just put a music on under the white music or in the silence of your room, whatever comfort you, whatever works best for you. You can now connect ideas here. Can you please um, unmute your microphones and help me out with some of the ideas? If our central message is accept yourself, what can we say here? What ideas are connected to can, this? Can we use believe in yourself? Sure, why not? Okay, believe, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, believe in yourself. Okay, we have our one idea here ready. Next, mm -hmm. one more connecting idea. Uh, okay, if you tap it right here, it will connect this idea and believe in yourself, or you can just return to main idea and connect another idea to the main idea. Mm -hmm. So come on everyone, please say anything that comes up to your mind because it's mind mapping. It's basically emptying your brain, yes? After we do this, we can sort out which ones are important, which okay. ones we don't need. It's okay, just say whatever Nar pops up to your Nargisa? brain. Yes? Hello? Yes. Nargisa, can, uh, I have one uh, idea and okay. I don't know how to say it. Can you help me? Sure. Uh, I would like to say that uh, a lot of girls, a lot of girls are a little bit discouraged. Uh, they, they a little bit, how to say, not believing in themselves. Mm -hmm. I think they should, uh, they should uh, confident in themselves and they should set a mindset uh, in themselves, like every day in saying to them, you can do it. You are amazing. Mm -hmm. You are wonderful. They should, okay. first of all, they should say it to themselves. How do you call it when they should first of all believe in themselves that, okay. uh, to to uh, to create a goal or a mindset or mindfulness something that they should uh, repeat it to themselves when they okay. look at the mirror because I know some girls are shy, shy to look at the mirror to themselves sometimes they don't want to look at them because they feel they are not perfect very right okay well actually you said some keywords you can say so self-confidence or self-assurance or you can say like girls mantra i have heard it some days ago girls mantra it's actually some words it shows the power of the words that it's some phrases they have to cons consistently repeat to themselves like you know uh, it, it's, mm. it's like a prayer that they keep repeating and then once it becomes true so it's it's one technique for self uh, for becoming self-confident and around this idea now we can build it's like affirmation yeah yes affirmation okay uh -huh. here around this idea we can build self-confidence or here again we can come back to this idea and build another idea around this this is self-assurance mm -hmm. and Anything else that pops up your mind? So, any other? Maybe that, yes, maybe uh, which we have typed, you are unique, this one also. You are unique. I think of... it can just be another sub main idea, right? Mm -hmm. You are unique. Mm -hmm. That's also a good one. And sounds so encouraging. You are unique. Okay. So, you will just keep building your ideas this way. We don't have too much time to do it all here. You can try it yourself in your free time under the um, circumstances that best applies to you. So I basically like doing it under some, you know, slow music, or sometimes I prefer silence or whatever you prefer. Just sit and put all your ideas in this mind map. And once you finish, you will have all your mind in front of your eyes. Then after some time, you can come back to it with fresh, fresh view, see, and now critically approach your ideas and choose which ideas are important, which ideas best serve this central idea you have, and which ideas are not really needed or they are confusing to the audience. They don't serve the purposes of main idea. Then you can delete the ideas you don't need anymore, or you can add some more ideas. And at the end here, you will have your brainstorm. Well, if you guys can, I would like you, I really encourage you to do mind mapping. You can save your mind map as a picture later when you finish. So this picture you can share under the post I created on Facebook. I will share the link with you. 
So once you share this, we can peer review our ideas and give reviews to each other's work. We can add some ideas or we can suggest, you know, it's always good to have someone's opinion because other people can see the aspect of the issue that you don't see, right? Everyone have their unique perspectives. So we can get some reviews on that. After we finish this, then tomorrow we will be working on our narration. Once we have identified our central issue, once we have identified the big things we want to say, then we can put it together. Then write down the thoughts we have in our mind, organize it and prepare a very beautiful narration. Of course, we will not do it in one session. It will be step-by-step -step work. I know that you have very busy lifestyles. Everyone has full-time or part-time jobs. And what we are doing here is uh, our personal and professional development thing. So I'm not going to rush you. So you are going to do it in your own pace, based on your preferences. Once you are ready, once you have brainstormed ideas on this issue. So come up with the ideas. And when you get peer review on your ideas, then you can come up with a title. An ideal title for a digital story is usually less than four words. So it's four words or less. If you have very long titles, well, it's not considered very, um, very, how to put it, very successful, let's, let's put it this way. So once we have mind mapped our ideas and once we have clear image of what we want to, um, you know, turn our, digital story around. Now we will um, come back to the uh, storyboard thing. Then we will use the tools, softwares, gather med media, and we can start building our digital story around this idea. Main purpose of this first session is to help you gather your ideas. I think I have provided only one tool but this is one of the most effective tools from my experience. You can search for the internet, you can get new tools. There are many options available or sometimes with some of you probably paper and pen, traditional thing work better. Yes, because in our fingertips, we usually have nerves and they are interconnected with our brain. And for some people, it's better to write with hand. The handwriting usually makes them more creative, right? So whatever mm -hmm. you prefer, just have your ideas on a piece of paper, on a software, wherever, however comfortable for you. But let these ideas come and let them be on somewhere so that after some time you can look through them, sort them out, choose the important ones so that we will later work on that and create a narration. So that's basically the topic of our first session. Here we talked about the importance of ideas on how to brainstorm our ideas and then how to critically approach our ideas and sort them out. I will give you comments and feedback on Facebook once you have um, your ideas ready. I will share a link with you for our Facebook page. You can like that page and you can ask any questions, that would be our meeting place, that would be our um, 724 connection part. I will always be ready to answer to your questions, give you practical help when you need it. Here is the link. So you can go to our Facebook page, like this page, and I have left a page. I have left a post on this page for our today's session. Under this post, you can share your mind mapping or brainstorming uh, ideas. So it, just take a picture of a paper if you did it on paper, or you can save uh, your brainstorming results as a picture and send it there, okay? Or you can type it so that, uh, oh, okay, some of you don't have a Facebook, yes? Mm -hmm. Well, if, if it's the case with most of you, what, what is the quick uh, messaging apps that you use? Do you use Telegram or WhatsApp? Yes, mostly Telegram. Mostly Telegram, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so 
then today I'll make sure that I will create a separate Telegram group for us to have mm -hmm. our ideas expressed and shared. And I will share the link of this group with you uh, later today. When I send you follow-up emails, I will That's include the group, group address so that uh, we can all keep in touch there, share our ideas and be connected every time, any time that's comfortable for you, whenever you have practical help, you have questions and etc. So if some of you are very quick, if you have these ideas, you know, um, just rushing to get out, you're ready with your ideas, you can go to the next step. Just write down any sentence that comes up to your mind about these ideas and prepare even your draft narration if you want. But basically today we will concentrate around the idea because in digital story idea is everything idea is the thing that sells your story so that's why i would like you to take a look at this topic to to concentrate around this topic so true colors of rainbow this is the title i came with you can choose any title or if you prefer you can use this title whatever you prefer so you have to choose um, one aspect of the issue you would like to talk about. And it's better if this issue touches you personally. I mean, you have personal experience with this issue or you have something to say about this so that your digital story will be more effective. Once you have chosen the issue you would like to touch, once you have mind mapped your ideas, telegram me, let me know your ideas. We will talk about it. We will discuss it. And tomorrow at 7 p.m., I will see you here on Zoom so that we can further work on our ideas. Well, um, by the way, we will be meeting two times a week, Thursday and Friday. Uh, one session. Uh, each session will include 40, 40 minutes. That's a 40-minute session. So we will have two 40-minute sessions per week. So that's a very short period of time to share everything that we have. I think it's a really good idea to have a Telegram channel so that we can all the time keep in touch and be connected to each other. Well, if you have questions, anything you would like to say, please, that's your time. I give the stage to you. Uh, Nargiza, I wanted to clarify uh, for uh, for the next session, will the link be the same or will you send me another? I think uh, that would be recurring changing. meeting. The link will be the same. I will just uh, edit the time and uh, I will prepare yeah. it. And, but still, I will make sure that I will send it again. The link will be the same. Okay. Yeah, because it will be our recurring meeting. Thanks. Yeah, so we will meet at around this time at 7 p.m. we will start our um, session. So I hope that till tomorrow 7 p.m. you have your clear message in front of your eyes and you have your sub ideas around, built around this message so that we can move on to the next step of creating digital stories. And about the steps to create digital okay. stories, I think we talked last time. Yeah, if you have missed this, uh, session, you can always go to the um, ACT page on Telegram, like that page, and on that page, you can get a link to our previous Zoom meeting. You can watch it in um, online on YouTube. It's available now. Well, that's pretty much it. Well, thank you everyone for being with us, for, for being uh, a part of our project. It's actually a pioneer project in Uzbekistan. It's the very first project. It's something new. So there is no prior experience to build this project on. So you are actually the pillars of this project. We are creating this together. And I really want to express my gratitude to you uh, for being the part of it and for helping me out so that we can make it. So let's show the world that it's possible that we can just bring this to our classrooms. We can use it. We can give our students chance to express themselves because digital story, digital storytelling is very powerful if used correctly, right? Well, at this point, Thank you, Narisa. Thank you, thank you. Your, your session is very informative for me. 
Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. If you have any feedback, if you would like to, uh, you know, see the sessions in other way, any comments, I'm always open to comments because as I told you, this is the first project that we are doing. So it's everyone's work. Just, you know, be part of it. Share your thoughts, what you would like to know, what you would like to hear, of, or maybe there are some topics that you would like to discuss later on. Based on this, we can even change our topics list. Uh, in agreement, if there are some topics that really touch you, that you really want to say something about, it's also perfectly fine. Thank you for joining us. I will be meeting you tomorrow at this time at 7 p.m. Have a nice <laughs> evening and thank, thank you. you one more time. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank okay. you so much. Thanks so much. Okay.